What's going on guys, Vic VB back with another Game Case Arcades video and we have done it. The Arcade 1-Up is officially modded. Yes, you heard that right. We got the Arcade 1-Up modded, running a Hyper Pi. I put a Pi 2 in this, 16,000 games. We got Street Fighter 2. We got stereo sound. Control on the bottom. LED buttons, the controller can put a headphone on it. It's got a subwoofer. It's got even our menu keys here. The only last little bit, last little bit of details I have to do to this, I have to clean up the wiring in the back and I have to put the labels inside the buttons. But other than that, RK went up, modded. It's perfect, it's very cute. I, I, it's an awesome little arcade, I like it. Just post this Instagram. I got a big hit. I got maybe like five people already want it. Again, we put our coin buttons right where the volume controller is. Let the little screen load. Get some two player action on this. Again, Zen mode control on this. So two game pad. It does know it says two game pads. Again, this is a Hyper Pi 2 in this. It's a, it's a Raspberry Pi 2. Joysticks work. Separate controllers. LED set to fade right now. Basically, I do have them linked to the strip. Let's take a look at the back. We got our LED strip back here. Again, I have to clean up the wiring here. We do have a subwoofer in this. So there is a subwoofer. It does add bass to the entire system. I do have a little bit extra of the LED strip. So we are gonna bring it over and then down to the face of it this way. In all honesty, a customer shouldn't really open this up. And not to mention at night, it looks cool. Turn off these lights. I'm just happy it's done. I'm literally happy that this is done. There you go. So I set up my LEDs in a very unique way. Um, you know, if you know LEDs, I'm not to tell you my secret, but basically a lot of customers always leave it as white. When it is white, all the LEDs stay on, the face of it turns on. All of these are on right now. Even the back of it, the back of the cab, all white. This right now, again, just have to do a little bit of, a little bit of wiring work, meaning clean up the wirings. I don't really like how I did it, but I did it real quick. I mean, again, following a lot of steps you follow on YouTube, you buy the, the converter piece. I'm gonna do a, a cost breakdown real quick on the screen. I don't really know it off the top of my head, but this right now, I did kind of do my, um, admin keys too far so now i can't really do it one I, I was gonna put them all four straight like right next to each other but i did want to separate it a little bit better uh so i do have my load save and then my exit i can't even hit this <laughs> with one hand so i didn't really think of that but basically we got our exit we can now play some street fighter three if we wanted to let's load that up really cool set by four by three screen Almost every Street Fighter, except, you know, retro style. There's no Street Fighter 4 in this. Again, running a Raspberry Pi on this. Volume controller here. This way you could always put the headphone jack. There's a headphone jack, there's a power. There's a lot of bass. You could literally, the, the whole thing shakes <laughs> with that subwoofer. Again, two sound stereo. Stereo sound. It sounds so much better. It's 50 watts. Literally 50 watts of pure audio power. Look at this. One-handed Hadoukens, man. I, I, you gotta love it. You just gotta love it real quick. Let's see if we can load up real quick. Let's, let's get some super, super Mario action into this real quick. Hold on. I mean, again, all in all, it was a very tough thing uh, to modify. Um, trying to do LED strips along the bottom and the face. It didn't work. I'll bring you in. Let me just load this up real quick. I hope I can find it. There's too many games. Literally 700 NES games. TU. Come on, give me Super. Super Contra. Here we go. Let's load up real quick. The NES on an arcade one up. Oh. 
Oh, you can't. You just can't. You just, you just... Look at this. Oh, I died. <laughs> That's embarrassing. But I mean, again, it's a very, it's a very cool cabinet. Uh, the screen looks pretty cool. It kind of faded. You could change the settings on it. That the board comes with it. There's a settings thing on it. I mean, now this is really cool. Oh, so now real quick, what I did with the LEDs. The LED sticks, like the 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 double edged side to an LED strip, it will always come off. I always staple my LEDs. We have to be very careful when you staple LEDs because you might go right through the strip and then you mess up the whole entire strip. So when I first did this. Um, I wanted to put a strip here right on the bottom of this and I did I started out I did it I had to loosen the screws on the side then open it and squeeze it through when I tighten the screws There was a gap here like a big gap and then not to mention I tightened the screw too much I actually cut right into the strip so this mod it didn't look good either way I wasn't gonna put this anyway I'm glad I didn't but I basically just put LEDs on the top it's gonna go on the back door and then we did an LED strip right here on the face of it. A lot of people are like, Vic, why did you do that? I had a coworker that said, Vic, why'd you do that? It doesn't look good. I always like to put LEDs on the face of it. It gives the underglow. Basically right now, our logos, it's lit up. This is awesome. We're literally playing some Super Mario 3. <laughs> That's why I love these things. That's why I love doing these things. Um, again, uh, Zippy joysticks, straight from Game Room Solutions. Game Room Solutions supplying the buttons, not for free, I paid for them. $80 buttons, you get 20 buttons. Took out the on and off switch and the volume controller. It was, you have to do some modding. I did use a file. Filed down the buttons to make it a round button and we were able to put two buttons in. Again, I'm missing the coin little pictures on this, which we'll do later on. Two Zippy joysticks. Looks good, hold on. Again, two Zippy joysticks. Uh, it's good. I, I Even with this, my only gripe is the, the gap. This button gap is too big. But then again, that's how Arcade 1UP gives it to you. I can't really play with this too much. I don't want the paint to fade away. But all in all, I mean, real quick, if we calculate real quick, uh, in all, uh, this is off the top of my head. We're going to put it right on the screen right now. If you bought the Arcade 1UP cabinet for retail, what you really pay for, we're going to call it at 350 with the tax. 350 for the cabinet. You pay 80 bucks for the buttons. I paid $80 for the buttons. That gave you the LED buttons, the uh, chrome trim, and the joystick. So 80 plus the 350. Um, speakers. I got an open box deal. I think I paid 25. 25 for the speakers. 50 watt speakers. Really retail for 50 bucks. So that was another steal I got. Um, I mean, we could put. I'm gonna put as 30, just to meet you in the middle. 30 bucks for the speakers. The converter for the screen was. 30 bucks 35 uh, let's call it 35 that was a screen modifier to make it work with the raspberry pi uh it's 495 in hardware alone not including your raspberry pi not including your sd card and not including the hdmi cable but basically for 495 you got the arcade cabinet you got the buttons and you got the speakers i mean this right here cost wise i mean i have to sell this for at least 657 to call it a day but i mean it's cool. It's a unique piece. Maybe this will come to Jersey with me. This might stay in the house. It's, it's very cool. I'm, I'm pretty shocked with it. Once you put in the time and the effort, somebody did a Marvel vs. Capcom 2 cabinet. Wow. Beautiful stuff. But that's a lot of hard work. You got to do a lot of work to it. But this right now, again, this is set. My cabinet again, I have to fix up the wiring. But again, that's it. This concludes VigVP Game Case Arcades. Arcade 1UP. Modified. We did it, LED buttons, 16,000 games. I got freaking Super Mario 3 going on on the screen. I love it. Four by three, it's definitely perfect, especially for the image that I usually make for my bar tops for a four by three. It's all strictly two player arcade style. This is, this is beautiful. You can't go wrong with this. This is amazing. I'll see you on the next one, guys.